Hi everybody, it's Olivia Burnett and this is part two of our resume and CV design. We're going to go step by step in designing a CV. If you want to follow along and make your own, that's great. If not, also great. Um, so again, we're going to start with contact information. So you'll have your full name, uh, your job title, address, phone number, and email. And again, you want a, a nice professional email. Um, but that's, that's the same as a resume, basically. So you'll start with your academic history. So you don't want to include high school, but we've got uh, undergraduate and then Professor X has three PhDs. Um, the, what he got his PhD in, where he went to school. Um, and then if you have a, a, something relevant to the job, then you want to include that as well. Um, if, if you want to write, you know, what your dissertation was, or if you had any any special achievements, you can include that in your academic history. Um, so professional experience, if you worked as a research exist, assistant, something like that, then you'll have the organization you worked for, your job title, when you worked there, and then a, a two sentence summary, much like you would in a resume. So we've got, uh, action verbs describing what you did at, at Oscorp. Um, so after that skills section, this is this is a lot like a resume, um, but you're going to change your CV for every position you're applying for. With a resume, you can basically just use the same thing, um, but you want to include skills that were relevant to the position you're applying for. So you'll put your hard skills and soft skills in here. So Microsoft Office, that's a hard skill. Video editing, hard skill. Um, Spanish is a hard skill. And then management is a, a soft skill. So if you have examples um, to, to demonstrate that you have these skills, then include that as well, especially for soft skills. Um, you can also include any awards that you have. Um, if you have a lot of awards, then just pick the best ones or the ones that are most relevant to your application. So we've got the name of the award, when you got it, and where it came from. And uh, XKCD comic, if you can discover new Nobel Prizes, you can put that in your CV. Um, and then if you have any publications or presentations, then you include the, the citation so that they'll be able to find that and trace that back to you. But again, the, this would be good um, if you have publications that are relevant to the job. Um, this is an actual paper um, that I've used as my example on how cats turn into liquids when they re relax. So that's worth a read. Um, but that's everything you should include on a CV. Uh, I kept it kind of brief because I'm assuming most people in high school, you haven't published any academic journals yet, but you know for the future. So that's the end of this presentation. Um, we'll talk more about job interviews and uh, job interviews and cover letters in another presentation. Thank you.